As you prepare to apply for work opportunities, you may ask yourself what you may want to put on your resume and cover letter. Let's have a closer look at two fundamental things that a job requires from a candidate. Skills and performing tasks. According to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, skills can be defined as the ability to use one's knowledge effectively and readily in execution or performance. Or, to put it simply, our learned ability to do something well. There are three components of skills. Knowledge, ability, and training or practice. For example, you might know a recipe to make chicken curry. But there's a difference between know and can do. To actually cook it, you need the ability to coordinate your eyes and hands to chop vegetables and chicken. And the more you cook, the better your cooking skills typically get. Tasks, in turn, are a piece of work often to be completed in a certain time frame. The components of a task are activity and outcome. Imagine you're babysitting your neighbor's children. Your activities will be to check the kids' rooms periodically and feed them dinner. And your desired outcome is to make sure they are safe and out of trouble. So what do employers look for on your resume and cover letter? Do they want to see your skills or the task you performed previously? Let's consider the following example. A computer science student at SFU has a fair amount of experience in web design from her previous co-ops. She is now considering applying for a web design position with a large company for a third co-op work term. Is it more effective for her to list her skills or tasks? When you have experience that relates directly to the job you are applying to, it is always a good idea to list down your tasks. That way, you can show directly that you are able to successfully perform the task that is required from you. Think about it from the employer's point of view. If they want you to design their web page, wouldn't they be delighted to learn that you have done that in the past? Another SFU student is applying for a position in a biology research lab for their first co-op term. Their previous work experience is at a fast food restaurant. Should they describe their skills or the tasks of their experience? When your past experience does not relate directly to the job you are applying to, you should focus on your skills. Since the two contexts, the fast food restaurant and the research lab, seem quite different, they should highlight the foundational skills of working at the takeout window. These could include effective listening, attention to detail, and time management. This way, the employer can clearly see what skills the student can bring from their past experience. So moving forward, pay attention to what kind of skills and tasks a certain job may require, and then curate your resume and cover letter to best meet those needs.